as of March 15th, we just implemented a program called the National Guard Employment Network. Uh, what it is, it's a uh, nationwide program for the National Guard that allows us to provide employment services to service members of both the Air and Army National Guard. Um, a good thing about it is it provides us the ability to do case management. So when somebody comes in, we have them uh, basically sign in to our Employment Resource Center and then sit down at one of these desktops behind me and uh, create an account. Once they create an account, it'll provide them access to job leads uh, that are available that we actually input ourselves and that our input from employers throughout the region, throughout the valley, and then also from National Guard Bureau. So we're not the typical uh, employment resource center style office where you know people come in and then we take their data or information and then we get back to them. We work very closely one-on-one -on -one with the people when they come in here. Um, they can send their resumes through email uh, and we can help them that way as well. But I think we get a lot more out of people when they're here because we actually get to meet them. We get to match their personality, their skills, everything about them with the job, not just not just the skills or their MOS, you know, in the military with a civilian job. We actually match the person. And so I think that's why we have a better, uh, you know, employment number as far as getting people jobs uh, because, uh, you know, they stay at those jobs. We make sure we find the right person for the right job. Well, we've got uh, guardsmen that, matter of fact, let's see, we had a, a private come in the other day, right fresh from AIT. She was 18 years old. Fresh from basic training, fresh from AIT, came out looking for a job. The only experience she had is what the Army had given her during that initial training uh, process. Um, and then also we've had colonels come in here that are actually getting ready to retire. Um, and I do have, uh, right now I've been helping with uh, other personnel as well, even higher than the rank of colonel, um, that are looking to either retire or exit the military and uh, either enter in maybe a civilian capacity or work for the city or state. 